What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. So today, I am not even gonna lie to y'all. I look crazy. I'm tired of looking crazy. I'm tired of looking at myself look crazy. So I'm not gonna be in a video today. I'm also real tired. But I know that Cinco de Mayo is less than a week away. So I wanted to get this video out fast. <laughs> I was supposed to do it yesterday, but I canceled yesterday completely. Today, what we are going to do is create a Nacho Mamas inspired hubcap margarita. So if you live in Baltimore, you're from Baltimore, you've been to Baltimore, and you've heard of Nacho Mamas, it's a Mexican bar and restaurant that has these hubcaps that are filled with liquor. They can run you from like $22 to $42, but today I'm going to show you how to make one for about $40, um, depending on what kind of margarita mix or what kind of tequila that you like. So if you're interested in having a quarantine Cinco de Mayo with a really fun drink that can get you drunk, then keep on watching. And don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment below. So I wanted to make this as easy and simple as possible. A fun fact about me is I am a certified bartender, although you do not need to be certified in order to make a margarita, to be honest. I'm only going to be using three, four, if you're counting the limes, simple ingredients. So it's going to be a margarita mix in which I got um, for about $19, $20. The pineapple flavor, it already has your triple sec and things like that in it, your flavoring, and it's the 1800 brand. You can get whatever brand that you like or whatever kind of margarita that you'd like. This one actually has alcohol in it. There's some of them that don't have alcohol in it. And then I'm going to go with the El Himidor. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. <laughs> um, silver tequila, which was about $20 as well. Yeah, I'm going to top it off with Grand Marnier, which is an um, orange flavor liqueur. I got the little baby bottle, which was like $5 because I don't need that much. You're going to need a pitcher or a big bowl. I'm sorry, I'm not too sure of like the capacity of this, but maybe you can try to tell. It's just a pitcher that I had laying around in the house. You'll need ice, of course, and a shot glass for your uh, Grand Marnier top and something to stir your pitcher with. I'm using fresh lime for my lime juice. I'm going to take a half of it and squeeze it and then I also had some to garnish with okay so let's get started first you want to fill your pitcher about halfway with ice so let's get that A little bit over half but we are filling this up with ice so that we can chill the drink before we pour it over ice in our hubcap oh i forgot to mention so this is a 12 inch cake pan and which i got from amazon this is what we're going to use as our hubcap also you'll need some long straws too i got this off amazon because i'm lazy and i don't like going into the store but i'm pretty sure dollar tree dollar general dollar store walmart target whatever they'll probably have it first you're going to take your margarita mix and i'm not 100 percent sure of the like cups ounces whatever um that i'm pouring in so what i'm going to do is count on camera so one two three four five six Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So about 18, we'll count a little over half. Then we're gonna finish it off with our tequila. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
That's about a 10 count. Honestly, I'm gonna just pour the whole thing in. So, the whole fifth of tequila pour in. I'm gonna add just a tad bit more margarita mix because your whole pitcher needs to be full. That's your margarita mix. Now I'm gonna squeeze my fresh lime juice. Squeeze all the juice out. It's okay that that fell in, you can leave it in. Cause we're gonna drain it anyway. And squeeze again. It in there. Now I'm going to use my stir and just mix it all up. Mix up. Put our top back on. Now you want to fill your hubcap up with ice also. Add your garnish. I'm doing about one, two, three, four, five. We'll do six lines. Now I'm taking my Grand Marier. I think this bottle is so cute. I'll pour it in a shot glass. Because we are going to top that off. Once we fill her up. So now you're gonna take your pitcher bowl and just fill it on up. Fill it up till you get to the rim. You might have some left over, which is okay. She's filled up to the rim. Take your shot of Grand Marier. Top it right on off. Then we are going to add in our straws. We don't want the same color. So this is great for if like you are locked in with a significant other, a family member few family members, brothers, sisters, cousins, whatever. But remember, we are going to be social distancing and things of that nature. These are extra long straws. I think they're, they're 10 inch, but stretch out to 12 inch. I'll put everything in the description box below so that you know um, exactly what you need. But you are all done and it's quick and easy. Let's give it a taste. Amazing. It's chilled and it's so good. It's so easy. <laughs> so there we have it. Our Nacho Mamas inspired margarita hubcap. For Cinco de Mayo, don't forget that Cinco de Mayo is in less than a week. It's on a Tuesday, which means that it's Taco Tuesday. So don't forget your tacos and quesadillas and everything like that. If you did make this drink, make sure you let me know in the comments down below. And everybody have a great, safe, happy Cinco de Mayo. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.